What's it happening? The garden is happening. Things are starting to grow everywhere. We started off this year utilizing a back to Eden gardening method. And um, just like a lot of people do on their homestead, we decided to utilize what we had. And what we had was straw. We had four bales that were given to us for free, so we tried to utilize them with the garden. And what we found is it's working, working better than I had ever imagined. Um, it keeps the moisture in, it allows the plants to grow, things like lettuce, which is just about this big right now, is starting to grow. It can easily push up and through the straw, but it also allows it to breathe. And some of the experimental things that we have done is just blowing me away because it's actually working. One of the things is right down here, it's potatoes. Let me show you. This is just so cool. So, this is what we have going on. Potatoes. What's exciting about this is this method right here. All we did was throw them down, cover them up, and they're growing. It's, gr I mean, look at this. Everyone that's like this is growing. They grow from the ground up, remember. And as this gets a little bit taller, what we'll do is we'll throw more compost. We'll throw a little dirt. Um, I have a little bit left of the compost manure blend. So we'll throw that on top and it'll grow. In the garden box, I don't know if you can quite see, but in the corner we have a few growing um, and there's a few little things starting here. So this is really exciting. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is the garlic. Check this out. I'll bring you over here with me. So our garlic is growing like, well, garlic. And the cool thing right here is scapes. And Usually, when I plant my garlic, the scapes don't come up this early in the season. And honestly, <laughs> we had a little mishap and I'm not sure what kind of garlic this is, but I'm gonna use these right before it flowers and make some early summer garlic scape pesto. If you've never tried it, it's awesome. You cut the scape down at this end before it flowers, usually after about the first curl, curl and a half, so this is just about time to harvest. I don't utilize this part, chop off the very end, and all you do is puree the heck out of it, and there you go. I add um, a little bit of olive oil to it and a few other secret spices, and it's just amazing. The best thing about it is it's easy to do, one, but the bad thing is it only comes once a year. So we're gonna enjoy this in probably a couple of days and we'll see what happens. The last thing I have for you as we pass some of the, the things we have planted in the garden like our pumpkins is over here. Super, super exciting. Check out our garden box. So I don't know if you saw parts one, two, and three when we were planning this garden box, but this has just been working out phenomenally. We have our oregano that's working. We have our flowers that are helping everything. Our onions are just going out of control. Our beets are starting to grow. Carrots are in the middle. We also have some other carrots here that are just starting to come up. And over right across the middle is lettuce. Again, lettuce is only about this big, but it is just, it's coming up and it's exciting. So uh, things are growing and it's really only not even, just about mid-June. Um, all right, so there's one more thing I'm going to show you before we part for this time. And what's this? These are actually one of our most favorite things in the garden, and that's our peas. Our pea plants are starting to come up. Uh, we have to quite train them to get them up the trellis, but they're already starting to climb, so it's super exciting. And we actually have our very first flower over here. I don't know if you can see that. 
um, and there's a couple over here. The thing about peas in our garden is usually they don't even make it out. Um, everybody comes on in, grabs a couple of peas, pulls up a few other things in the garden that we need and they're on their way. Um, it's kind of like a sugar treat. It's great. Um, and it feels so good when it comes out of the garden and that you put the time and the energy into making these things grow. It's just amazing. And I'm, I couldn't be happier. So on behalf of Jamie Lynn from MMB Homestead, it's great to update you on a few things of the garden. And we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. everyone. I'm going to show you some few things that are pretty exciting. Look at what we have going on. This is the first year that we have little baby apples starting. These are red delicious. I came over here and for the first time we're able to have a few gala. Just a tiny few over on this tree. Now, I know what you're probably saying. Big deal. It's just a bunch of baby apples. But for us, it is a big deal. Last year we lost half our orchard and this is what's coming up. have over here just one of our pear trees. Nothing yet, but let's give it a shot. A, a, a little bit of a try this. The Danju pear. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And this one looks like we have a we have deer in our area, so we have a bit of a visitor that did a little bit of damage. Um, but let's hope that this new uh, kefir pear tree makes it through. One new and exciting thing in the orchard happens over here, a little lower on the ground, was a new surprise for us. Yep, that's a fig tree. It started off just about two feet high and didn't really make it during the winter. So Ken cut it and all of a sudden we looked and that's what happened. So I guess nature finds a way. Figuring out what to do, making the best of the land we have. Thanks for watching. Jamie Lynn from MB Homestead. We'll see you in the next one.